an enormous impact. And I truly believe that our goals boil down to what we are willing to risk in order to achieve them. Excellent content, excellent delivery. It's in our perception. Defeat is often only a temporary situation. It gives us the opportunity to learn from our mistakes. You held us spellbound. And today when I share my story with you, think about how you are going to be changing. Take your next meeting beyond the limits. Stacy Allison. I'd like for all of you to think about your climbs, where you've been, the steps you've taken to get to where you are today, and what you're doing to prepare for soaring to your summits. Surprisingly, our challenge didn't begin on Mount Everest. It actually began when we arrived in Kathmandu. You see, we had to get our 460 boxes of food and equipment out of customs. We didn't even bother knocking on the customs agent's door. We just burst through it. And we said, we're here to get our gear. And the customs agent said, namaste, namaste. Please sit down, he said. We looked at one another and we said, sit down. We've just been sitting for 17 hours. No, thank you. May we get our gear? And the customs agent said, oh, you must come back at 2.30. Your paperwork is not ready. Well, that was okay. We had a lot to do in Kathmandu. So out we went. In we came at 2.30. Namaste, namaste, please sit. Well, this time we sat. And then he called for tea. And we looked at one another again. Tea? We don't have time for tea. Doesn't this man understand we have more important things to do? So we said, no, thank you. And he said, oh, you must come back tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So out we went, in we came, out we went, in we came. By day seven, we realized we must be doing something wrong. How many of you get so caught up in your busyness of business that you forget to sit down and drink tea with people? You see, we never achieve our goals by ourselves. It requires many people working in cooperation. And when we have people working together, it's critical that we learn how to build relationships. And the only way do we do that is by understanding other people on their terms, not on ours. Stacey Allison, taking your next meeting beyond the limits. Stacey Allison works with audiences of all sizes to move beyond their limitations and realize their personal and professional dreams. Using in-depth industry research and high-touch interview techniques, she customizes each presentation to provide maximum take-home value to every attendee. We had eight people working in the ice fall that morning there was nothing we could do to help our teammates. And then it was just silence. Ten minutes later, Don Goodman radioed down from the ice fall. And he said, everyone is alive. Yeah. Everyone's alive, but we need help getting down. Don Goodman and one of our Sherpas were swept 30 feet into a crevasse. They were pretty beat up, and they sustained minor cuts and bruises. Now, once Don was safely down to base camp, I can remember thinking, that, that was one way to prove a point. <laughs> How easy is it for us when mistakes are made, we point a finger and we blame? When he got down to base camp, and he knew he was going to be okay, he began to immediately strategize on how we were going to get back up the mountain. You know, I, I just talked to a gentleman, William, he's been working for just a few weeks, I think, seven weeks or so, out of New York. He took on a, a fairly troubled, you know, area, if you will. He's not blaming anybody for the state of his area, his region. 
What he's doing is he's finding solutions, how to fix the problem. That's what we need to do. You see, when we blame other people, when we blame past, it doesn't move us forward. It slows us down. And true leaders, and all of you are leaders in this room, true leaders don't blame other people or circumstances for the things that happen. They take responsibility. And it's only when we can accept full responsibility for our lives that we have the confidence and courage to get knocked down and then pick ourselves up and get back on that mountain. Stacy Allison, taking your next meeting beyond the limits. As president of a residential construction company, she knows the challenges modern businesses face. Keeping a consistent vision, working together in extreme adversity, being focused and competitive, winning in the marketplace. Her relevant, uplifting, engaging, and exciting presentations combine the lessons of summiting the world's most difficult peaks with the know-how needed to become an industry leader. Just pretend you're right behind me and we're going to cross this ladder. On my right side, I remember this, is there was a 10-ton ice block. It was just perched there, ready to fall on me. It would squish me without my even knowing it. And so I'm thinking, don't fall, don't fall. OK, I can do this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't fall on me. Don't fall on me. I got a little bit out there, and then I trip. So I caught myself. Now my heart's beating a little faster. I'm taking short breaths here, and I'm thinking, OK, don't trip. Do not fall on me, and don't trip. And then it's another thing. I look down into the crevasse. It was 100 feet below me. So now I'm thinking, OK. Don't fall, don't fall, don't trip, don't fall. Whatever. All this stuff's coming in my head now. And I'm thinking, I can do this, I can do this, I know I can do this. Oh, good, whatever. All this stuff coming at my head. Get a little further out, and the ladder starts to go like this. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, oh, oh, I'm not sure I can take another step. And I turned around, and my teammates were waiting for me very patiently. And what did I do? I shot them that. Smile of confidence. <laughs> there are times as a leader that we just have to fake it. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you at work? All this stuff coming at you that you can barely move? Well, what I realized is that I needed to focus down. I needed to eliminate the unnecessary information. Isn't that what you have to do? Eliminate the unnecessary information? I didn't need to know there was a 10 ton ice block that could fall down and squish me without my even knowing it. It was distracting me. I didn't need to know about the 100 foot crevasse. That wasn't going to help me get across the ladder. We have to learn to focus down, to narrow our focus. Stacy Allison, taking your next meeting beyond the limits. Stacy recounts the Everest challenge in her book, Beyond the Limits, A Woman's Triumph on Everest. Her new book, Many Mountains to Climb, is an anecdotal account of climbing struggles that helps plot a path to professional success. She has appeared in dozens of national television and print media outlets, including Nike commercials, documentary specials, television talk shows and sports programs, news and feature magazines, and industry trade journals. I'm walking along the trail, and I can see where we need to be. We, we camp every night, and I could see where we need to be. It was about 1,000 a, a feet below us um, in a river valley, and I looked ahead on the trail, and I could see my teammates traversing the hillside back and forth and back and forth heading down. I thought, oh, you know, if I could just find that shortcut. So I took off down this trail. I'm going as fast as I can, and about 100 yards in, I stopped feeling, again, really smug. Well, I had stopped, but you see, the bushes around me were undulating back and forth. <laughs> and now I knew why. Nobody else was on this trail. And then I made my mistake. I looked down at my legs. Ah! There wasn't much one leech on me. There must have been 50,000. And I screamed, help, help, get them off, get them off. I was by myself. So I turned around, 
and ran back to the main part of the trail as fast as I could go. And I'm screaming, I'm jumping around like a mad person. And I'm in hysterics, my, my teammates are in hysterics also. I personally couldn't find anything funny in this situation. <laughs> Just to gross you out a little more, let me tell you what happens when you try to pull a leech off. You grab a hold of these things and you pull and they stretch. You pull a little more and they stretch just like a rubber band. You pull a little more and then they finally just pop off. But because they have sticky skin, they're now stuck to your fingers. <laughs> you see, if I had just calmed down, they would have dropped off all by themselves and gone somewhere else. Do you have leeches in your lives? people and the things that can suck us dry without our knowing it. The people, the naysayers. You ever had a conversation, well, I know, I don't know why, why I'm asking this. You had a conversation with someone, and after that conversation, you said, man, I need to go take a nap. They've just sucked your energy. Naysayers, people who tell you you can't do it. Ever hear that from somebody? We'll never be able to turn our clinic around. We'll never be able to, to, to turn DeVita around and make it, make it the greatest company. Those are naysayers. They're leeches. They're everywhere, everywhere. And there's nothing we can do to, con to control those leeches. The only thing we can do is to control ourselves, how we act and react to those leeches. You know, because they're not really the problem. It's us, again, how we act and react. And that's another good reason why you need to know your personal vision where you're headed. What is your through line? If you're looking to motivate your audience, change their perspective, and inspire them to achieve success, you need Stacy Allison to take them beyond the limits. You see, Steve, Jim, and Pasong all had a decision to make at this point. They could risk running out of oxygen and climb to the top of the mountain with me. Or they could play it safe and turn around. Steve and Jim decided it was not worth the risk. Pasong, however, decided it was. All of our goals in life boil down to what we are willing to risk in order to achieve them. Not necessarily physical risk, but financial, emotional, the cost in time and energy. What are you willing to risk in order to achieve your goals? It took all the strength and courage I had not to turn around and run after Steve and Jim. But you see, there are times in our lives when each and every one of us has to walk away from everything that has meant security to us in order to reach our dreams. And it's then that we have to reach deep down inside for the strength and courage to take that next step. At this point here, the wind started to gust so hard it blew my hat off my head and it hovered in space and then it dropped 8,000 feet. I didn't go after it. <laughs> but I hesitated. And then I looked up at the summit and I knew what I had to do. It was like a magnet pulling me closer and closer. 20 feet, 10 feet. And then I got to the point where I couldn't climb any higher. And that's when I knew I was finally on top of the world. Thank you. Now you think, boy, you reach the top, you can just kick back and relax. Well, we brought 35 corporate banners to the top. We had to photograph those banners. But you know, the top is the most vulnerable. There are many people who use up their resources and energy reaching their goals, and they forget that we can't rest on our laurels. We can't survive on the tops of our mountains. We always have to come back down and set new goals for ourselves. The top is a great place for vision, for looking out at possibilities and creating new opportunities for growth and development. But again, we always have to come back down and set new goals for ourselves. And let's face it, the world is not changed by people standing on mountaintops. It's changed by you in this room. And the most important step is not the one to the summit peak. 
The most important steps are what you do and what you learn in the process. That's what makes the difference. And I want to wish each and every one of you the very best as you soar towards your summits. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. For more information about Stacy Allison and how to take your next meeting beyond the limits, please contact the provider of this video.